everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lucy from Footloose Eventing and today it is another instalment of a festive Vlogmas episode and I have returned to somewhere I actually came last year for a Vlogmas episode with Harry to the home of Car Town Sport Horses. Now, of course, as it is Vlogmas, these vlogs would not be complete without the chance for you guys to win a prize. Now, today's sponsor is the wonderful team at Equitrek. So sit tight and you can find out at the end of the vlog what you guys can win. Okay, so I've just started by giving him a hand walk around the arena while Chloe finishes off riding her one. I think he remembers where we are. He's, he's clocked the ducks in the pond anyway, haven't you? Right, so I am here today having my lesson with international show jumper Chloe Winchester. Um, last time I actually, I haven't had a lesson with you before, have I Chloe? No. So um, we're going to see how this goes, but we've got a bit of a plan. I think what I'm going to have to do though is get on and uh, Chloe's going to warm me up. And actually today, Chloe's going to be the one mic'd up so you can hear everything that she's saying because it will be very valuable. Good. If he'll let you, just try and let him forward a little bit like that. So sort of soften your hands a little bit. Bring your shoulders back a little bit. That you're not hunched over him. I think that's my default because my body's so tall. Yeah, you want to try and make yourself smaller. But bring your bring your body up away from his front, so you sort of feel like you're in the middle of him. And then whatever he throws at you, you're there. Just ride him right now, forward and flowing. Don't worry what his head's doing. Just let him, just let him until he takes a breath, like he's just holding himself there. Just until he takes a breath, just let him go forward. All you're going to do is guide him and ask him where you want to go. That's better. So here, just keep letting him flow a bit more. Good. Much better. But even though you're going to be soft with your hand, make sure you've still got your hands closed around the rein. Good. Change the rein again. That's nice. That's how you want him. Even there, just with your rising, try and use your rising to control the pace a little bit that you don't rely on your hand. You know, slow it down a little bit. Hold yourself a little bit that you rise and fall as, as gently as you can. That's good. Bring the circle in a bit smaller around me, pushing him over with your outside leg. That's good. Very good there. Now push him out with your inside leg. Push him out. Push him out. More weight in this in, inside heel. Good. It sounds a strange thing to say that even if you're tall on him, you need to make yourself as long as you can on the horse. Uh, bring him into me again with your outside leg. Make sure you're sitting straight. Don't go to one side. Am I not sitting straight? You just went, as soon as you went to use your leg, you yeah. shifted. Every day. Go That's on. good. That's good. Keep pushing him around. So you have a consistent contact. Okay, now you can push him out. Watch that right hand is acting backwards again. Watch that right hand rein for acting backwards. Didn't even know I did that before. <laughs> Throw your shoulders up a bit. Contract your stomach muscles. Try and hold yourself with your core. Close your hands around the reins. Come back to walk. Give him a breather and then we'll have a canter. Just for me, bridge your reins. A little bit softer in your bridge. You can have your reins a little bit longer. There, right. Now just ride them forward. 
Bring your body back. Your leg's going to go on, but your body doesn't need to change. Okay, and ho hold your rising a little bit. Good. Now just keep the same like that. Good. Now we can't be fighting with your right rein. Yeah. Just keep your leg on there. Just keep riding him forward. Softer with your ha hand. Good. Good. Much better. Much, much better there. Grow taller yourself. You're still hunching. Good. Much better. Super. Trot once more around the whole arena like that. Grow taller, don't start to hunch. Very good. When he starts to blow his nose like that, you can reward him, praise him a bit. He's just starting to take a breath. That's much better through the corner now. Now you've got the same feeling every t all the time, don't you? Good. Bit softer. Good. In the next corner, canter. Same thing in the canter. That's good. Softer. Every time you feel him come back, he wants you to grab hold of him. So just be soft. That's good. Yeah. See, that looks nice. It's staying the same rhythm. There, keep more legs. Soften your hand. All the time, leg up, leg up into a consistent contact. That's why we're bridging your reins. Because then it gives him the stability and security. Same thing here, D just because you're trying to be soft, keep the same contact with your fingers around the rein. You're letting go of it again. Good, circle. Yeah. Then have a go quite fast, Chloe. No, see, from the ground that's not fast. Okay, cool. But he's just, he has to find his own balance a bit. Don't get him getting any quicker, yeah. but that's the sort of canter you need to be jumping from. Yeah, it's easy to work them under pace. That is the work he needs to do because now he's having to engage himself. Circle again. Yeah. Don't lean in. Keep your shoulders back. Stay square on top of the horse. Good. Now, now he's starting to sit. Now you can go a bit slower. Very good. See, because he can't fight with one hand of yours, he's having to start to sit. Then what he does, is he relies on your right hand to pull him so he can get in the fight and use that to lean on. Yeah. Now, he's having to use, now he's having to support his own body weight and instead of relying on you, you're just sitting there asking him to canter underneath you. That's very good. Now you can start to try and slow it a little bit with your body, but keep your leg on. Yeah, very good. Super. Very good. Very good. You feel the difference? Super. You can give him a trot and a walk. Very good. Okay. Okay, maybe don't take your first distance this time. Come round the corner, take a breath. You're jumping a nice small fence, so there is no point to rush. And whoa, 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 whoa. Very good, super. One more time like that. Keep your body back. Don't let him rush. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very good. Super. Give him a pat. Good. Very good. Nice and soft with your hand. Keep your body back. Very good, super. Even if he goes to take over, don't go with him. Good. Keep your leg, keep your leg. Very good. Okay, so now we've warmed up with your bridge train. I feel like he's in, you've got a much more consistent feeling in your contact. And he's, he's there, he's more with you now. So like we said, he's not, he's having to carry himself and not just lie on one of your hands. So now we're gonna add in a few more fences on the circle. So that just, it's a good training exercise to keep, for practice of a course really. Because things come up very quickly in the course and you need to be able to keep, keep them straight, keep them turning be in control. So this sort of tests all of those things a little bit. And keeping the fence nice and small, it's good gymnastics for him as well that it doesn't matter if it doesn't go 100% right because it's, it's really nice and small and easy for him. It's just getting that rideability better. We need rideability. It's really important. We like rideability. <laughs> Okay, so slow everything down yourself with your body. Whoa, that's all right. That's okay. Keep your body back. Slow in with your body. Slow in with your body. Slow in with your body. Good. Now do it with your body still there. Keep your leg around. That's all right. That's okay. I don't think I'm ever going to make that one. <laughs> you are. Good. Good. Just keep your leg around him there. Keep your leg around him. Good. No problem. Look to your next fence. You keep doing the same. It's all right. Stop a minute. Yeah, don't hunch over. Good. Okay, keep everything slow, still, in balance. That's all right. Good. A little bit more forward. Good. Super, well done. Very good. That's all right. Soft. Very good. That's okay. It's much, much better there. If we can get the three together, we'll leave it at that. The inside leg, keep him straight through the turn. Good. Very good there. Very good. Look at your next fence. Wall there. That's okay, keep coming. Very good, right. Come once more. Whoa. Good. Very good, very good correction there. Whoa. Good boy. Very good, super. Good boy. Oh, I did it. So after that you caught him a little bit there with your hand, yeah. but then you made a super correction at the next two. Yeah. But I think this is the sort of thing to be playing about with him. Yeah. Because if you can do this, then you can think about then doing a course and it's going to be so much easier. Yeah. 
once he takes a breath doing these sort of exercises. But I do think the pole on landing definitely helps him drop his head a bit. And then you want a good ground line for him to canter to. He's worked really well there. That's the canter you need to be working with on the flat. You can't do it when you're jumping yet because he's not, he's not ready for it. But if you can start to work him in that canter, then it's just going to get him stronger. And then everything's going to be easier. Obviously, it's far from perfect. But at this stage of bringing him back into work, I'm really happy with how he felt. You're a lot, a lot more sensible now. Yeah. <laughs> good boy. Mm, that was so good, wasn't it? Guys, if you come to Car Town Sport Horses, you get, I'm just chucking all over the floor, tea. Well, I don't know if this is for everyone, if I'm just kidding. <laughs> it doesn't happen every day. It doesn't day, happen but... every time. But I've got a lovely cup of tea and this beautiful orange, chocolate orange cake, which is delicious, but apparently Chloe did make it. Anyway, we're not <laughs> talking about cake. We are talking about my lesson and my training. So, Chloe, going forward, what do you think I need to be working on? kind of like in the immediate future. I think right now you need to work on consistent contact so that it just makes it easier for you and then yeah. it's always, you're always then together like in your imbalance yeah, with each yeah. other. Whatever you do you need to make yourself like wrap your legs around him almost Yeah. Uh, and stay tall and also when you ask him to go forward do so with your leg not your body because that's a bit of a con. How do I go forward with my body? Do I, am I driving? Yeah, so when you go oh, to, no. when I say, right, oh, no. go from trot to canter, my you life. straight away, like, leg on. Oh. And let, make him come up to you. Yeah, instead of meeting him. <laughs> <laughs> it's always going back to the basics. It's what I think of every day when I'm riding, but it's, it's always going back to the basics. Now it's time for me to tell you about the amazing prize that Equitrek are providing for this episode of Vlogmas. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a free three-month hire of their brand new Equitrek Apollo. So if you guys want to be in with the chance of winning this three-month hire, you know what to do. Head on over to my Instagram account and enter. All the terms and conditions will be on the post so you will know exactly what to expect from the prize but if you are not lucky enough to win this vlogmas prize fear not my friends because equitrek have launched a brand new flexi toe program so that you can hire one of these trailers brand new for just 240 pounds a month including V18. So a big thank you again, Chloe. I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed today, and I think Ember has to. It's finally chilled out. So um, yeah, guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Leave a comment. What else do you do, Chloe? Like the page. No. What else? Subscribe. 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 There we go. So right, we're gonna <laughs> sign out. Give away. sees the video of his poles on the floor, he's gonna be fuming. Oh my god, he hates poles on the floor. <laughs>